Okay, so what we're trying to do right now is work with object recognition in this flying robot, the Yara drone. It has a camera on it, and that camera can, of course, see the world. And what we wanted to do is to be able to recognize specific objects around, its, around itself and react accordingly. So right now we're using these barcode looking tags. So whenever it sees a certain tag, it might follow it or go left, go right, up, down. Eventually what we want to uh, accomplish is have it be able to recognize certain colors. So that way, if let's say it sees a pink circle, it knows that it should go that way. If it sees a pink square, then it'll be like, no, that's, that's a bad area for me, and turn around and go the other way. Or, you know, there's a variety of applications that there should be there. My project is with uh, Dr. Christina Iftode from the bio department. Um, what we're doing is testing um, this particular polymer that's supposed to be um, an encasing for uh, stem cells that will eventually will uh, differentiate them so that they'll become um, spinal disc cells to um, repair spinal discs for people who have intervertebral disc degeneration. So it'll be um, a treatment right now. We're not in like the you know experimental phase with injecting it. We're just testing to see if it's cytotoxic to cells or not, and whether or not the cells per correctly adhere to the polymer. So that's about where we are now. We model this symposium after a professional event. This is what a national science meeting looks like. It's just a smaller number of people. You know, it's not 10,000 people. You know, in a giant convention center. Um, and so it is important uh, to be able to communicate the science, and this is the kind of format that it's often done in, and this is why it's important for students. Many faculty are using this as a dress rehearsal for taking students to national meetings. I'm taking my students to San Francisco for the American Society for Microbiology in June. This is their dress rehearsal. This is their dress rehearsal. They've got posters they're presenting, uh, and this is where they're trying things out. And they've already come back and said, well, I know this is how I want to redo the poster for when we go out to that meeting. This is something that I hadn't thought about. This is what we need to be thinking about when we rework the poster in terms of the content, not just the layout. So that stuff's going on for lots of posters here. Um, I think it's a good opportunity for people to present their research. I think Rowan is an up and coming school, so it's important for us to get out there, especially our biology department, because we have that medical school coming up, so we can make connections with the industry, kind of get our name out there. It's a good practice opportunity because if you go to conferences and stuff, you're with people who have done research for a while. So this is a good practice run to present in front of your peers, in front of people you know. That way, when you get to conferences, when you get to bigger things, you can present. You know what you're doing, basically. You certainly have a lot of undergraduates at junior and senior level at various places who will do research. But you'll also find here some sophomores and probably a larger fraction of juniors doing research than you would at some other institutions. Um, if you look at the engineering curriculum, the clinics are embedded in the curriculum. Students are doing research as a specific part of their curriculum every semester. And many of those clinic projects are presented here. So another case where there are team projects and they are freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. So it's not just a senior thing here at Rowan. So it's, uh, in fact, many profs actually will look for uh, underclassmen because they know that they can work on the project for multiple years. And that really helps them do a more sophisticated project. It's a project that they can take to regional and national meetings, not just undergraduate meetings, but the real deal, where there are actual graduate students, postdocs, and, and faculty from all across the country going. There are many faculty who will take their students to those kinds of meetings, and STEM is a dress rehearsal for them for those kinds of activities. It's different because in my other subjects, especially in my classes, a lot of it is theoretical, a lot of it, you don't actually see the things happening in front of you. So it's just really amazing to learn about something, implement it, and watch it happen in real life. I think that's the most fantastic thing about this.